this new episode of Continuum Gaming this time around in English as you may already have noticed. And today, since we are all staying at home, I want to give you three games to play. And um, so these are the games. The first one I will show you is Crazy Nightmare 1 3D. Um, then we are going to have Cody Crossword Puzzle and then Brain Out. My name is Gerald and as always I've got a couple of different things with me and um, yeah, there is a little bit of a different setup today because I didn't recharge my batteries for this um, Arc mouse. So today we are going to use another small mouse or mice which is this one and um, it's the same otherwise. It's a Bluetooth device I can use for, for um, pointing at stuff and using as a mouse pointer of course or as a touch substitution, whatever you want to call that. And um, of course, the formal keyword, which is this one, is at the start too. And there would be the Xbox One as well as controller, but um, first off, the battery ran out of it too. And second, um, we don't have a game in the setup, which can be played with the Xbox One as well as controller, so that is not much of a loss there. Um, and of course, the whole stuff we are going to do here is running more or less from my smartphone which is this one a Lumia 950 XL it has this Moso cover at the back the zebra wood cover from Moso and it's um, connected with a USB-C connector here or USB-C cable more or less to my display dock which is sitting at the side at this point I hope you can see that and um, of course the display dock itself is connected to this um, TV and like that we can play games or do other stuff with it and today we are going to play games of course. And um, if you want to know more about the whole setup and all what is Continuum and why is this, is this Continuum Gaming and stuff like that, please have a look at the corner up there. You might want to have a look at one of the videos there where I'm going into that a little bit more in depth. And um, yeah, other than that, let's start with the first game. The first game is called Crazy Nightmare Run 3D. And uh, it's a pretty simple but nicely done and nicely themed um, sideway scroller, runner, jumper, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's have a look at that. I'm going to go to my own apps list here. Going to go to this one and putting in um, Crazy, of course. That might already be enough here. Yeah, there it is, Crazy Nightmare 1 3D. Um, it's even a Continuum release, so something that is especially uh, programmed for Continuum. Um, I'm not sure about that, but in the end it's pretty nice and it works. And um, yeah, in general you might uh, find some kind of advertisement at the start, but uh, yeah, in many situations you won't. So um, let's see what's going on there. You can of course get the full version if you want to. And other than that you can already see there was our little guy. Sometimes it's crashing a little. I don't know exactly why. I think you just need a good internet connection. And that's a little bit of a problem while uh, in Corona uh, times or whatever. But um, we will see. In general it sh uh, should start at least a couple of uh, times before it did. And um, yeah, here is a little character already in, in the black black style or whatever you want to call that. And here we are in the game itself. Um, as you can see, it's Crazy Nightmare Run. Um, it's all about more or less a little guy who has more or less a nightmare, of course. And because of that, um, you have to run away from monsters or whatever. And uh, at the start, it's more or less a murderer or something that is coming behind you. And um, yeah, you have to run away from him and jump on different platforms and stuff like that. It's really pretty simple to play. Um, it's a very easy thing and uh, pretty simple to play, but you really have to have a look at the, at the lack of, for instance, your input devices. Depending on how much that is, it might be a problem or not, you, you will see. Um, in the end, if you, if you get accustomed to it, it's pretty nice to play. Um, first off, let's have a look at the options panel here. And I will just turn down the music by my foldable keyboard. I could do it here too, as you can see, but there's not much more to do here. So if you are ready, just go once back. 
and click on this button. There are of course the high score st stuff you can have a look at and that's more or less it. And after that let's start with it and it's going to be 3D but from the side. And um, yeah, there is our little guy and he's already... Okay, I was very very bad. Um, but he's already followed by that guy there and you can see it's all horror themed. So um, let's try that again. That was really bad. Um, and you can see we are followed by, by one of the guys there again. Okay, let's try it again. Um, we are already uh, followed by one of the guys there and um, the leg is pretty much gone. So um, before I played this I had to, uh, to press a lot earlier than now, which is a good thing. But um, that is the reason why I'm uh, dying so much now. But as you can see, he now follows us and in this case he got us because we ran into one of the barricades or whatever there. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I'm running into, for instance, some kind of a rickshaw or, some, or something. And um, he is still just getting me and I'm not uh, sliced to death or something, but whatever. Um, yeah, you can already see it's really a pretty simple game. Just play it through, try to get the high score. You see there is a score that is going to rise up. Um, I think it's a second more or less um, you, uh, you survived in this game. And um, then you are going to be in the high score and that's more or less it. But I like it for the, uh, the theme it has and the little character that is running around there and stuff like that. It's really not bad. So if you like side scrollers, and of course, this is nothing you, you are going to play very, very long. But if you like that kind of game, just try it out. It's really just a simple um, control mechanism. So you are just pressing one button, more or less, the mouse in this case. And um, by pressing the left mouse button, that was too early. Um, by pressing the left mouse button, you are going to jump and that's more or less everything that is going to be here. Um, I'm not sure if there were levels or something, I didn't play it long enough till now, or more or less survived long enough till now, um, to really be sure about that. We can try it. That was close. Um, yeah, of course you can't run against one of the barricades or fall into the hole or um, run against one of the of the um, stands there. So no hot dogs for you in this case, please. And as you can see, it's going to be faster after a couple of, of seconds. So probably if we are going to go uh, over 20 seconds or something, it's going to be faster. But in the end, that is a game. Try it out if you like those kind of games and um, it's really a nice little game which is very very mindless so you just can, can play it press on a button and, and jump around and uh, you don't have to think about it very much which is a totally contrary thing to the following games we have because the next game we are going to play is Cody Crossword Puzzle um, yeah it's a crossword puzzle game it's a pretty nice one if you ask me so let's have a look at that um, it sounds pretty boring, but it's not really. I will show you what I'm talking about here. Um, it's nicely seen too. And yeah, of course, if you don't like uh, crossword puzzles or something at all. Sorry. Somehow it's written a little bit differently. Yeah, okay, I would have to, uh, to um, put it through there. Cody Cross, crossword puzzles it's called. And um, yeah. It's pretty nicely themed, I think, and uh, if you are, for instance, playing it in English or something, uh, I think you can switch the languages. I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe it's the next game where you can do that, but we will see. Um, in the end, you can see this is Cody. Cody is this little guy there, more or less this Magian or something. And uh, I really like him. He's really, really looking very, very sweet. Uh, as everything else here, it's really nicely painted. As you can see, you can switch languages down here. Um, since we're in the English episode, I'm going to leave it in English, but um, you can see there are a couple of different ones available. For instance, German would be here too. But um, since we're in the English episode, I'm going to leave it like that. It's pretty hard for me because uh, the difficulty level here is, is not very, very low. 
and um, of course, uh, uh, since this is not my native language, English, um, it's sometimes a little bit hard for me to get everything done, but as you can see, you can of course mute everything here, and you can buy stuff. I'm not sure what's going to happen if we click on that. Um, in the end, what you are going to experience sometimes is this kind of in-between adwords that are going to come. You are, in general, um, able to get rid of them, so that's pretty okay for me. And then you can buy these rubies. I'm not really sure for what. Um, so maybe to, to go to the next levels or something, I'm not sure. Um, so just go, go on play and as you can see we are going to have different levels here and it's really a lot of them. So um, you can see here is, is level 1, 2 and so on, but this is really only a level pack we are talking about. So even level 1 here is not one level but is 10 levels or something, I'm not sure, 10 plays. Um, so I'm going to click on that, or oh, 5, okay, it's 5 but still pretty, pretty many of them. And as you can see, puzzle one has been played by me already. I, I already got that. This is puzzle two. And I'm going to click on that and show you what's going on there. So just click on that button. And um, here's another small info. We don't need that. In the background, you hear it. There's always this nice little music playing. There are different music, uh, tracks there, but this is one of them. And as you can see, I already put in pregnancy. And uh, if you put in something in the right manner, then you are going to get different other letters um, put together. And uh, for instance, if I'm going to, to scroll up a little here, and for instance, just click on them, pretty long words. Okay, um, if I just click off on one of them, then I get the information, hey, type of RAM used to knock down walls and gates. Um, Okay, since I I really don't know what that could be, sometime uh, some kind of a big hammer or something, but I'm not sure what what he is asking me for there. I'm going to try a different one. For instance, this one. Okay, that's pretty unusual too. As you can see, it's really not the easiest. Uh, crossword puzzle here. I am confused probably. Um, you can now use the on-screen part here, so I'm going to try that. Confused. And as you can see that doesn't fit in here. Confused. I think it's, it's written right. Um, you can then go here, get rid of them, or if you don't want to use the on-screen keyboard, you can always use for something like, like the photo keyboard or something. I'm going to turn around now, just to have a better look at it and, and be able to put everything in an easier way. Um, but you already can see it's not the easiest game, so um, you should be into crossword puzzles, otherwise it's a little bit different. Um, so just click on that. Uh, the red bar is always telling you where you are at the moment. So if you put in some kind of a letter with your keyboard, for instance, it's going to be at the red point. Physical item in space relating to heaven. Yeah, it's a horizon or something, but I'm not sure. It's, it's starting with a C, so I'm not really sure about that neither. Let's click on that. Carlo Collodi. Puppet Tale, The Adventure of... I don't know Carlo Collodi, but I think maybe Pinocchio or something, I'm not sure. Let's try it. Um, he's going to tell you if you are right, that's a good thing about the game. So, Pinocchio... Problem is... Only if you put in everything, and I don't. You see, this was uh, was wrong. So he's telling me that. Now we get a little bit of this uh, advertisement again. Doesn't matter. Just click it away. Um, which is a little bit unfortunate because, oh come on, I, I should get at least one, right? Um, if you want to to uh, switch the rows, for instance, just click on one of the, the letters in this. It should switch the rows too. Watching, observing a type of insect in nature. Sorry. 
Most common pants worn denim. Most common pants. Shouldn't that be jeans or something? I'm not sure. Um, okay. I should not have filled out pregnancy because I'm pretty sure this will be the only one I'm going to guess in this one. Um, if you are really not, not uh, able to solve something, I think there is some kind of a helper somewhere. And uh, in the end you can, for instance, uh, use Bing to, to get these answers. Vilnius is the capital of... whatever. <laughs> Vilnius is an English name for some kind of city, I'm pretty sure about that, and I'm not sure um, which that might be. It's not going to be Italy, it's not going to be Spain, it's not going to be... Hmm. Some Mexican? I, I don't know. But not really. Mexican would be, it would be different. And it's Mexico City or something. Um, so let's see if I can't find anything I can put in here. The public conveyance in Venice. I'm not sure what convenience is. Yeah, but you already guessed it. I'm really bad at this. Quick spreading respiratory disease. It's not going to be Corona, I'm pretty sure. Um, and respiratory, I, I think it's something like cholera or something, but I'm not sure how that is written. Can't, can't say anything about that. Um, so, sorry, <laughs> I don't know even one of the words here. That Canadian lawman and journalist. No, sorry. Oh, come on. Something has to be here. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, to be a little bit of a cheater here, just to show you how that is done. I'm going to go to the edge now. Carlo Collodi. Let's see. Carlo Collodi. It's Pinocchio, but it's okay. It's written with uh, P E N O C C H I O. Okay, that's a problem. I, I didn't know how to write it. Pinocchio. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so at least I can show you what's going on then. And he's again giving me some kind of. Someone. Okay. Um, so Pinocchio was, was right. Um, as, you can, as you have seen there, there are going to be some kind of letters revealed then if you get one right. And then you have an more or less easier time to do that. Uh, I'm not sure how many they are going to rewield and, rewield and stuff like that and this is really a level so you're not going to, uh, to go on um, or to get different um, outcomes or something. It's really going to be this level all over again if you start it again. Um, if you want for instance to go to the next um, question here or the next phrase then you just can click on that and he's going to give you all the different options here one after another, if you just want to play it uh, in an order or something, or don't know, uh, or don't want to click there, you can just use that. And um, yeah, other than that, I would say church, not really, citadel maybe, sit, probably not. I'm pretty sure it's not written that way, um, but it could be Citadel or something, I'm not sure. But as you can see, this is a game, just try it out, it's not easy as I mentioned before. And um, there are a lot of different things to do here, so um, go to the menu for instance, then you can have a look at the different other levels here, and as you can see there are a lot of them available here. I'm not sure if I can click on them already, no. You really have to more or less play those, and go through them, and then those are given to be played after that. 
So just try it out. It's really hard to play, for me at least. Um, I'm pretty sure I would be better in German, for instance, if I'm playing it like that. But um, yeah, try it out. You have a couple of different languages available. So if you want to play it in English or whatever mother tongue you are going to, uh, to uh, have, um, it's a good idea to try it in that, I would say. Otherwise, it's really yeah, quite a struggle or quite a practice, more or less. Depends on how good you are in that. And I'm not very good at um, spelling, so I'm not going to try that anyway. Yeah. But I hope you like that game, so try it out. I really think it's a nice one. Um, it's more or less pretty straightforward, so they are not trying to trick you into something or do, uh, do something with you. And that is the contrary with the next game too. Um, the next game is called Brain Out, and Brain Out is a game where they give you really, yeah, more or less tricky questions. And uh, I'm really about tricky here. It's not not uh, that difficult or something, but you really have to to think around the edge or whatever you want to call that. Um, so a little bit of I don't know banded uh, um, banded thoughts or something you need for that. Um, as you can see, there are a couple of different levels here, and this, for instance, is one of the questions uh, you are going to have to answer. Um, so. In general, all of these are more or less tricky questions or trick questions, so be aware of that. Um, how many triangles are in the pentagram? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine, but I'm not sure about that. So let's try that. Um, I don't think you. Or I think you are allowed to do a couple of them. Ten maybe, I'm not sure. No. It's probably more. Maybe I didn't count that, then it would be ten. Eleven. Okay. So I got something wrong here, but as you can see, there are really a lot of, of different um, aspects to this. This was one of the very easy ones, because this is something you already know from IQ tests and stuff like that. But they are really sometimes pretty tricky with you. And again, it's from the same guys and they are giving you the same kind of, um, of information and more or less the same kind of, of uh, parts. Find out the largest fire. This one, for instance, is a pretty um, trick key question again. Of course it would be that. If you click on that, it's not going to be that. And um, so sometimes you can, for instance, pull, uh, pull them around and do other stuff with them. And for instance, put everything on top of each other or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, you see? You can put them all together and then you get the largest fire. But this is something you really have to, to think about. And um, so this game is really about giving you more or less a little bit of a headache if you're not going to be open-minded about it. So um, let's try it. Have a look at the next game. What's the number under the parked car? Okay, this one is... I'm not really good at that. But let's see if I can find something out. It's double that minus one in this case. This would not be the case. 15, 8, okay. 0, 8, 15. I'm not sure about it, but um, two exponents, uh, exponent three is eight. Three exponent two would be fifteen. But no, that nah, not really. That one is nine, 
exponent 2 that wouldn't be fine. I'm not sure about it. So let's try it out. I would say it has to be between 27 and 20. And if you don't know some of the questions here, which is fine, you're going to have that. Uh, maybe? Okay. Do you see what I, I'm talking about? You can just pull it away. And that is really bad. You are thinking about, hey, there has to be some kind of a, of a thing going on here and you really have to think about it and have, for instance, to, to guess something, but they are really messing with you. So just push it away and, and get the right number. It's really, really, yeah, thank you. I'm a genius, yeah, perfect. Um, as you can see, it's really, really pretty, pretty tricky. And somehow, sometimes you really um, feel a little bit bad about that. Okay, we have to wake up the oil. We can, of course, click on it, that doesn't matter. We can do that. Maybe we need to, ah, okay. This one is again, we can move the sun. And of course, an O will only be up in nighttime. So we need to get rid of the sun and I'm going to put it maybe here, I'm not sure, or maybe down below. Let's see. Where should I put it? So you are happy about it. Yeah, okay. So we got rid of the sun and because of that the oil and the owl um, got, got up and she is now there. Okay, so what do we have here? If... What the heck? Um, that one is troublesome for me. But it might be five and twenty seventy? Maybe seventy, I'm not sure. Let's let's try it out. But this might be another one. No. So um, what I thought about is Two and one, so the second part should be at the uh, first row. The first part should be in the second row. In this case, okay. This one is different because this one is more or less the second part in the first row, and the, uh, the second row here is more or less three times two. So, uh, so this is uh, the next part. If you do the same for this, this is of course the first uh, iteration again. So for three. And this one should be the second part then. And this is a little bit troublesome because it should be 5 or something then. Maybe 50? I'm not sure. No. So it would be 5. And then we need 4 times 5, which is 20. 5. Could be 52, but I don't think so. No. Um, so if for some reason you don't know the answer, please click on this button here. This is more or less giving you. It's not. Oh come on. Oh come on. I really hate you. Oh come on. You see it again? I fell for it, and it's really, really interesting to play this game. I, I really like it. Um, it's a little bit like the unsolvable puzzle or something. There, there was one of those games uh, which was pretty popular before. And uh, so if you like this kind of, of game, just try it out. Tap fruits from left to right, then tap the hexagon, circle and rectangle. Tap fruits from left to right. That's very literal. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hexagon, circle, and rectangle. Yeah, would be would be strange. Can I move it? No. Tap fruits from left to right. No. Yeah, it's more. 
corners. Set one, set one, set one. Rectangle, circle. No. Tap fruits from left to right, then tap the hexagon, circle, and rectangle. All three. from left to right, then tap, tap fruits from left to right. Oh, this is, yeah, okay. Yeah. This is not a fruit, this is a, this is a vegetable. Again, a little bit tricky, not that tricky, but still tricky enough. And um, yeah, so I think you already got to know the clue what this game is all about. I really like it. Um, there is, of course, this, this advertisement all the time. But still, it's a pretty nice game, especially if you want to think about it a little and have a little bit of a riddle going on there. So try it out. Um, it's really available in the store. And um, other than that, I would say, I hope you had fun with this episode. Um, I'm not going to go on here, so you can see we are in level 12 now. I don't want to spoil it for you all. So just try it out. I hope you have fun with it. It's something you really can play very, very easily and um, yeah, pretty nicely if you ask me. And um, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is the end of the episode. Please give the episode a thumbs up if you want to. And of course, if you didn't subscribe till now, there's a button down below, just press it. And um, of course, uh, don't forget to hit the bell button too, so you are not missing one of my videos here. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. If you have a commentary, please put them down below in the, in the commentary section. And other than that, thanks for watching, have a nice day, have a nice week. We will see us in the next episode again. And so, thanks and bye. Bye!